Woo. Okay. I still got a little bit. So this is my friend Jake. He runs a channel called Lax Weekly. I think this mental toughness and confidence is what's gonna carry him to the top when he plays at UVA. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly, and this is the rise, the fall, and hopeful rise again of Syracuse lacrosse. Today I followed Jake around to see how he makes videos for his channel, mainly because I have no creative ideas of my own to put out into the world and wanted to piggyback off his fame but also because I've always been super impressed with how consistent he's been able to be with this channel and wanted to see in person how the magic happens. Wait, super easy shots? Yeah. Um, even though you're a lefty, put it in your right hand. Okay. okay. You know, I've always been jealous of Jake. Jake has lots of subscribers. Something I've been very conscious of right. lately. Like, do you want to start just with B-roll of like us shooting around or what do you want to do? In an effort to get more subscribers for my own channel and finally taste that sweet, that hard, sweet YouTube dough, I decided to ask Jake about his writing process. Not so I could provide any value to the viewers, but so I could steal it for myself. You know, those nice candid moments. Ha ha ha. Not scripted, ha ha ha. And a lot of times, I feel like if I go like a few weeks without making a video, I'm like, wait, how do I make a video again? How do I script a video? So, a lot of times, I've been, uh, I forgot which YouTuber I took this from, but I've been trying to focus more on like, uh, thumbnail and title, so I always try to think of that before I really start thinking about the script, which seems counterintuitive. Because I would always just like write a, a really long script and then be like, wait, what should I title this? And then it wouldn't be as good. What I like to do is like I, I try to have, I want, I want it to be like around 1800 words, which is about eight minutes long. I have my, my title, I have like a video that I want to base it off of, and then I just uh, start writing an outline. So As Jake showed me his writing process, I realized our methods weren't too dissimilar. Except Jake actually followed through on his plans to write, and I resorted to yelling at 12 year olds on Call of Duty. To combat the existential dread I was now feeling upon the sudden realization that I hadn't achieved any of my YouTube dreams for lack of follow through. I asked Jake to give me a behind the scenes look into his filming process. $50,000 doing the studio right here. No, this is my closet. This is where most of the videos are filmed. So I slapped my laptop over here, put the camera right here and yeah, it, it, it honestly, it works. One day I'd like to actually invest more money in my studio, but for now this is, this is what I got and I kind of like it. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, I'll record everything in one take, so I'll just keep the camera running. I have my microphone, and I just. What if you're like, what if you're like reacting to a highlight clip channel? That is, that's a good question. So then I have to go out more into the wild. So I'll have to go back over to my desk over there. I knew I was gonna make a few reacting videos, and so I, I knew I wanted some light. So I usually set up right here, put like the tripod right here, and, and go to work. I honestly was thinking about this though. At one point, I like invested. I bought like a thousand dollar camera which for me is like a lot of money for, for spending on a camera. But I don't know, it just like stressed me out having all the bells and whistles. Cause I think like I, I didn't go to school for any like film or anything. So everything's kind of self-taught. So I just wanted to have like the simplest setup ever. So this is why I kind of like just having like this crappy mic that it just works and this whole setup, it's like, I don't know, it's just easy. 2021 and Connor Schellenberger is about to match up against UNC rival or NC okay. defense yeah. on UVA's way to winning their second straight national championship. I feel like I'm gonna look like such an idiot in this video. You're gonna like cut. <laughs> Me just cutting all the clips that like. <laughs> we were filming a lacrosse stereotypes video for his channel that day and I didn't know if Jake wanted me to be in the video, but just in case, I took some proper precautions should the moment arise. Oh. Act in the video? I guess I could act in the video if you really need me. I really haven't done acting much. Back with another Lax Weekly video. Hey, let's do a ground ball drill. Ground ball drill. So it's gonna be the guy who screams on the sideline like when they score a goal and then I'm gonna be like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, get big boy, let's go. Jake, that, Jake, that was the other team. Uh, okay, the wheels dad, the dad who just yells wheels. Wheels! 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 
Hey, wheels, wheels, wheels! <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I had played lacrosse for 13 years, I started to become less and less familiar with each stereotype. Go! Jake, are those two inch inseams? Yeah man, they're super long. Nothing better than just some adrenaline socks and some Flow Society shorts, am I right, boys? Dude, that guy last week had no tilt and his hold was ridiculous, bro. And then you're gonna be like, I told you not to do one handed ground balls. Boys, come on, the, the sideline's quiet. What are we doing here? Come on, boys, I need some energy. Let's go. Coach, Let's coach, go. coach. It's it's 19 to 2. Like, do a high pitch voice and be like, I'm open, I'm open. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So go cradle it. I'm open, I'm open, nope, I'm open. Nope, nope. Oh. My acting chops weren't really up to par for such a high subscribed YouTube channel. Go around the back, through us, through it. <laughs> Just easy, super. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do you want me to say? You want to say? Told you not to do grunt. <laughs> Jake, I'm tired of you doing behind the back. Take a look. So Jake suggested we take a different approach to my involvement in the video. I want to be just like Mikey Powell. And I'm not sure why, but I just kind of laid there. It, if it doesn't go over 20k, I'm gonna be sad. If it, realistically, I think we can get over 100k, which for a small YouTuber like me could be huge. You're here first, 100k, Lax Weekly. Stereotypes. Let's go.